Hello everybody. I got this question quite a few times from different people, so I thought I do this tutorial. The subject is how to avoid uh, the thing which I call spiders and other people have other names for it, but it is a vertex on a critical edge which is, is shared by more than four edges. So. To demonstrate this, I make this cube, A key, go to OpenGL, <coughs> delete the bottom, then I select all these edges and bevel them. We have three ways how we can bevel. Uh, the default is round and depending on the round level we get uh, different results uh, but what I will use this time is the square which makes nice edges here which makes uh, the squares we need to hold the shape and what we don't want in such a tutorial is the sharp option where it makes diagonal edges which always result in rounded shapes. We will see this later. But as I said, I want to have square and about 20 millimeters. Okay, now this cube holds its shape very nicely and I add in some more edges, one and some in here and for the sake of this exercise I want to have a circle in here. So I bevel this polygon with a, uh, sorry, I bevel this vertex with a round level of one to about here, then I can select these polygons, Shift F5, open my scripts directory. If the scripts directory does not open with Shift F5, then you have installed your scripts in the wrong directory. This is something I get quite a lot of mails when people ask why do my scripts not work. It is very likely that some of the scripts will fail if they are not installed in the directory where Modo goes and searches for them. So I used the perfect circle from Semicar Menar again and run mesh cleanup to flip that single polygon. Then I can use the C key and edge slice some edges in here okay then I select these polygons B for bevel and bring this down press control and click on boundary here and shift click Shift double click on these edges here, then B key again, and again with a square option. I make bevel this in uh, like so. Good. You will see why I have chosen to put this ge additional geometry in, otherwise, it would be too easy. Okay, now. The easiest way to avoid spiders, I keep saying this, is when we could use bevel first and bevel some geometry in and then bevel it out or sorry, control Z, shift click and bevel it out and you see the bevel has made this diagonal uh, edges but sometimes we cannot 
do this because we need to extrude polygons. Uh, set. Let's say we want to extrude all these polygons here. And then shift X, pull them out like so. And you see now I delete the bottom here, up a row key, delete. And you see we have now several of these spiders, namely this one here, it's five edges, another one here five edges and the last one here, five edges. And these vertices are really on critical edges. Now to get rid of those, uh, this is the method I use. Maybe there are better ones. If so, then please let me know in the comments. So first we need to make two additional uh, supporting edges for each of these spider vertices. I show you here I use edge uh, add loop which I have on a keyboard shortcut so in my case it's Alt 4. Then I put another edge in here. Sorry, shift click and this is what I want to achieve. I want to have five of these square polygons around each of these vertices. W key to here. Now here it was easy. Up here it is not so easy. Well, it's still easy, but that's the reason why I made this hole in here because when I would put an edge in here, it would completely ruin my geometry, as you can see. So this is not an option. Delete. And what I do next is I select two polys in here, up arrow key, and do the same here, up arrow key, OK. And now if I use add loop, it will only add a loop to the selected geometry, like this. Okay, now we have our five uh, squares around each of these vertices in question. And the next step is to remove these middle edges. So select these, these ones, this one, this one, and manually these two, and backspace delete. Now we can add in another edge here, and another one here and a last one here and as you can see now these vertices only are shared by four edges this is what we want and the spider which we cannot avoid completely has been moved to an area where it is absolutely no problem because it's flat or it can even be slightly bent. Okay, now we must fix this here. There are several ways to do it. I think the easiest way is to put in a triangle here. We could even leave it because it's on a flat surface, but because this is an, uh, is a tutorial, I will not do so. Then I can select some polys in here. here. Go to top view and shift C, cut an edge through here and we will only 
cut through the selected polygons. So drop the tool and we need to put these words together. And if I go to the polygon statistics now by vertex, you see we have all quads. So there are other ways of doing it and I will show this to you later on. So here we go. This is an absolutely perfect uh, mesh with no pinching in these areas. And this is the way you can change it from a spider to a four-way vertex. As I already mentioned, the easiest way to do is if we could uh, use bevel for a window, for example, or a hole. So uh, bevel, and you see what we did manually, bevel is doing for us, namely it makes a diagonal uh, edge. So shift click, bring this in. The disadvantage of having diagonal edges here is this shape will be round. So select this, Alt C with a count of two and uh, symmetry. And I add another edge here, like so. And bevel also the back here, bevel And if I go up with the subdivision level to 4, for example, I get a nice round shape, which can absolutely be done this way. If we need to have, as for a window, for example, sharp edges, then we need to put in supporting edges again. So shift click shift click. Now I leave it as it is like this. So control Z. Good. <clears throat> you see now this is also round and Alt C with a count of two. If I want to have it square, then as I, we did here, we need in addition to the diagonal edge, we need two supporting edges on the outside. So first I add another edge in here. Okay. Now I can select this. And again, because we would ruin this geometry up here or impact it. We cannot just put edges in. We need to think a bit about it. So Alt-C and activate slice selected only. Click in the viewport. Okay. Now we have hardened a part of it and we cannot just put edges up here. We have to redirect it. And one way to do it is to delete these two, is to add an edge from here to here and we have two quads. As you can see here, all quads. The disadvantage of this method is it is a bit unpredictable what happens if uh, you know if we select edges here you see it goes down here. If we want to make this a bit more predictable there is another method of doing it so I delete this one and cut an edge in here to here 
to here and shift reactivate the tool shift reactivate the tool and now we have done exactly the same we have all quads but Modo knows a bit better how to deal with this geometry as you can see here okay now the next part is we need to have an edge in here and another one in here and now we basically did the same as we did the first time we have a square shape which holds the shape but unfortunately when you remember our first round hole in here it has ruined this geometry so we must be as careful as I have been with this one with other impacts what we can do in this case is I will uh, delete this edge here and let's see how far we go one less backspace delete and now I want to redirect this edge down to here and the way I'm doing it is uh, first I W key so we see it a bit better to here then I use the C key and cut the edge to here from here to here up to this corner shift click and bring it down to here or any other place you can reach any place you want with this method of redirection so now I make this straight R key and we do the same over here so C key again but with nothing selected C key shift click and bring this down to here or any other area which is not seen in the render or as in my case ends here or it could also be somewhere in the middle doesn't necessarily have to be on the edge okay now we have still a very clean mesh no uh, spiders well of course we do have spiders but they are on uncritical areas they are not for example here or here now we have seen how to make round holes and square holes maybe we want to have both so what we can do I lift this edge up a bit W key like so select this bevel it and what we can do is we can delete parts of the bevel we could for example delete these two depending on what we want to achieve or I delete only this one here then select the bottom edge go to vertex set position minus 500 on the Y like so and if I bevel this out here now we get a sorry we get a round shape I delete the bottom here maybe this is already what we want maybe we need to have a bit a harder edge here so bevel again 
Okay, now just for the sake of this exercise, let's assume I need another edge in here. So Alt C with the count of uh, one. And again, it goes too far. So I select this here, up arrow key, and backspace delete it. Now we have again to uh, redirect this, and I want to bring it down to here. I could also bring it uh, around here or wherever I like, but this is a non-critical area, so I can up arrow key and put an edge in here. This time I make it at 50%. And now we can redirect it, so C key, put this in here first, then shift click, put another in here, shift click, come to here and to here, and you see now we have still all quads, and we did not have to uh, fiddle around with this opening or this one because we could redirect our edges. And I think with this in mind, you can pretty much make a model which has zero uh, vertices which are shared on critical edges. So let's check this. We go to vertex by edge. And the ones which we are interested in are these, too many. And you see we have 18, but none of them is on one of the exterior edges. And if we render this, this should give a very nice model. So I assign an... Uh, Made copper here and make it a bit reflection something and make it a bit bigger like times 720. and F9 to render it. Ah, forgot something. If we put up the subdivision level, then we should also put up the render level. Okay, so I have put up the render level to four. Let's render again. And you can see yourself the areas which previously were a little bit of a problem are now really clean. So I hope I could answer one or the other question and you think this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.